And here we are right back in this pack market looking for GOAT Series Wimbenyama. We about to pull these packs, but first off, I got to let you know, we got some things to talk about in this video. I'm going to give you three reasons why the ban effect should be lifted when you quit games. And I have one monster reason why these bans should stick around forever. Forever. Okay, so where we left off, we need Jalen Green and JaVale McGee in order to get our Mecca Plus lock-in. So that's what we're shooting for to get both of these cards out of this pack opening. We have half a million VC sitting in the tuck to open packs with, and we're using all of it. Everything, everything. We already pulled Galaxy Opal Wimby. We got a gameplay coming out with him. He's not bad. He's not a bad card at all. This center power forward, Hakeem Elijahwan, it's not bad either. And we could use a Giannis Anka to Tacumpo. The Anka to Tacumpo. The Tacumpo of them all. The Giannis, giant Giannis, whatever. You get it. We pulled Zach Levine too, but we figured out Zach Levine's not that good of a card. I mean, he's a good, he's an okay card. He's just lacking some defense. I wouldn't mind pulling any of these 100 overalls, but like I said, we're definitely going for this Go Win Benyama. And let's jump right into it as I tell you exactly what I think about the ban hammer. The first reason why being banned for quitting games should be taken out of the game is because it's a pure waste of time. You're wasting my time in a couple of different ways, 2K. Honestly, I'm wasting time by sitting in games if I'm getting blown out or if my opponent is getting blown out, if I'm blowing my opponent out. There should be a concede rule like Madden. Madden has a rule where you can just concede to the other player. You can just go ahead and say, hey, I'm not winning. I don't think I'm going to win. I'm down by more than 21 points. 21 gun rule is in effect. I can just bounce out of here. Let me just click a button and say, hey, fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm. That would be a great addition to the game. And also on the other thing of things, when I do quit, if I quit enough times and I get the 30 minute ban, like, okay, now I'm wasting time away from grinding whatever game mode I was grinding online anyway. So you're wasting my time in a couple of different ways. What you can do is either take that ban out of the game completely, or you can give me a way where I can concede to the player that I'm playing against, or the player that I'm playing against can concede to me. That would be an easy fix. It's easy. There's no way that you should be wasting my time. I, I mean, come on, you wasting a whole bunch of my time, bro. I'm not, I mean, I don't have, we all, we all got the same 24 hours. You know what I'm saying? As we get our shake on pack 10, we all got the same 24 hours. And hopefully, all right, hopefully this is a lock-in that I don't have. We need to see one of these lock-ins that I do not have already. And this just so happens to be another Galaxy Opal Wimbanyama. We've seen a few of these guys. This is probably like the fourth one I've seen. And that's just crazy. These packs have been really dry for me. Yesterday, they were really, really dry. And if it's the same motion, oh, as we get another Galaxy Opal, hopefully this isn't another Wimby. Like I was saying, if this is the same thing, if we get the same treatment today that we got yesterday and we see a bunch of Kyries, a bunch of yellows, reds and blues and greens, then we might just have to be have to be out of here on Wimbanyama. And it just so happens to be another Wimbanyama. <laughs> What are you guys doing, 2K? I've seen five of these. This is not cool. I don't think this is fair at all. Why am I seeing so many Galaxy Opal, Victor, Victor Vimben? Did I say that backwards? All right, so like I was saying, like I was so, wait, as we get another shake and this just so happens to be a dark matter shake, I can't even get back to what I was saying. Oh my gosh. We're, hey, look, I'm gonna need this to be I'm gonna need this to be a dark matter Wimby this time. Let me get a dark matter Wimby, bro. Let me see that center. Let me see that center. It's a shooting guard. Oh my gosh, we already have this card. Brother, you, you guys, I mean. What's that? But like I was saying, we, we waste a whole lot of time this year just in bands alone. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, it, it just makes no sense. It's ridiculous at this point. We need something else to shake out of here that's not a duplicate, honestly. I mean, if we don't get, if we don't get a fair shake at things, I don't think, I don't think we'll be back 
We honestly want to, I want to add Victor Wembenyama the Llama to my lineup. And I'm not going to lie to you. The Galaxy Opal version of Wimby is cool. That Galaxy Opal card, I put him on the floor already with my team. He came off the bench for me and he wasn't bad. He wasn't bad at all. We can get 146,000 of them things or we can exchange. Think we should exchange? Just give me my money. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm taking 140,000 in things. You're getting your money. I'm, I mean, it's just an easy call at this point. We need to stack up some MT. So that's my first reason for the ban rule should be lifted is it's a waste of time. It's a complete waste of time. All right. As we look up, we got 158,000 MT sitting over there that we collected. We don't want to touch that today. It could happen, though. We sitting on 316,000 VC. We're going to bust open another 20 piece as I get into my second reason why that ban rule should be lifted forever. All right. The second reason is because it's driving players away. It's driving the player base up the wall. So many players are saying, hey, I don't play 2K because you can't even leave the game anymore. You leave the game. It doesn't just affect your record. Now it's playing with your time. I have maybe an hour or two a day to play 2K because I got to work so many hours a week or I got the weekends to play. And if I get into a game that just so happens to either lag me out or I leave too many games per day, then I have to take a 30 minute hit. I might as well go play tiddlywinks. You know what I'm saying? I've heard people say, like, I, I just get off the game and go kick it with my family. I go outside and I'm not going to think about 2K for the next week. So those players that would be playing the game and will be filling up lobbies, they're just not there anymore because you banned them. You told them to get up. You said skedaddle. I mean, you're telling your players basically skedaddle. Get up out of here. We don't want to. We don't want you to play our game. Take a 30 minute ban and go find something else to do as we hit our next dark matter. If this is a Zach Levine, I'll be livid. All right, let's flip this. Fingers is crossed. Fingers is crossed. We're going to go through this one by one. We got the dark matter in the middle and when it's in the middle when it's stuck in the middle like that i kind of i kind of feel a little bit lucky let's see what that's flipping like let me get let me get a dark wimby let me get one of them dark wimbies baby oh as we get Giannis onto Takumpo. oh my gosh i was not expecting that i wasn't expecting this to happen oh my gosh Oh, we ooh. at small forward, power forward. For him to come in at my small forward spot, that means I can move Jason Tatum to my two spot. This is going to happen to change the dynamic of my team all the way around the board. But like I was saying, you're driving the player base away. People are getting banned and not getting back on the game for weeks. So to say a little bit, but say a lot at the same time, you're driving your players away from the game. And I don't know if that's by design. I mean, do you feel like certain players that are quitting should be out of here anyway? I don't I don't know. I mean, it doesn't make much sense to me, but you guys make the game. I'm not the one that produces anything. I just make content on it. I play the game. I just play the game. I'm just the guy that's giving you my time and attention. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to play the game I love. You know what I mean? But either way, we hit another Galaxy Opal. Hopefully, this can be a lock-in. It's a center. It's another Wimbenyama. That's crazy. We keep getting all these Galaxy Opal Wimbenyamas. We're not getting any Galaxy Opal lock-ins. I still need Jalen Green. I still need... What's that other guy's name? That's too many Wimbies, though. I've seen Wimby entirely too many times. All right, now we're going to open this 10 box as I get into the third reason why this ban rule should be lifted and be taken out of the game forever, never to return. We should banish the ban rule because it's bad for the competitive pro-am scene. It takes forever to get competitive pro-am games done in the first place, just to get lobbies started, just to get players coordinated, just to get the search code in and to get things going in these leagues. It takes a whole lot of coordination. And I mean, if you wanna throw in a 30 minute ban rule if somebody just so happens to get booted from the game, lags out, if anything goes wrong during the coordination of these games and we have any type of hiccup, that means it's going to take 30 more minutes to even get in the game and get the game done. You have overnight competitions that they run. You got big money competitions that they run. And if we had a wrong hiccups to me or the wrong type of type of hiccups transpire, then it takes all night. To get these things done now i haven't been as we get a shaky we get another opal i haven't been 
on the competitive pro-am scene much this year, but I have been watching and following along with players such as Joe Knows. So I've been watching a lot of Chalk. Chalk runs a whole lot of overnight things. His channel's always up, and I feel like that's really good for players. Bear the Beast, even though he's in market, he runs a whole lot of stuff on his channel from the year, throughout the year. And I feel like that's beneficial for comp players. You guys can slide over there and just really peep how competitive Pro-Am is played from a professional standpoint. This has to be something good. Let me not, just don't be, okay, power forward. We are moving, we done made moves. I think I already have him though. We need JaVale McGee and we need Jalen Green, our, what was bro's name? It takes forever to get these overnights accomplished when you run into those type of hiccups you got players that might have to change accounts and go get on a whole new account if you can even find a new account i mean it's just tough i mean come on bro i mean you putting you putting a whole lot of players at a disadvantage for making folks have to sit out over a band 30 minutes it takes all night to get these overnights done like come on it's, it just makes no sense at a certain point as we get nothing shaking out of pack 10 we got we got tyler hero off that joint I mean, we got 30K off of this. We can add bro to the exchange for a deluxe. I believe that's what we want to do. I mean, it's just 30K. Let's make a business decision right here. We're going to just, we're going to add him to the deluxe. Down the line, we should be able to pick something up. And then what else goes into the exchange off of these? We can throw into a deluxe. This goes into a deluxe. Might as well. We might as well throw that in a deluxe. We got a Giannis. At least we got a Giannis. We got 19K left. Let's go ahead and open a single pack while I tell you the one reason why this ban rule as we get nothing out of the single. This one reason why this ban rule is actually a good thing for the game is because it drives some of these bum players away. Some of these bum ah players get driven away from the game because hey, they trash anyway, they don't need to be here. I mean, if you trash at the game, I don't wanna end up with you on my team. I don't wanna end up with you on my team in the rec center with your trash ah. I hope you got banned and taking a 30 minute ban as soon as I get into the game. You know what I mean? And look at Giannis. Look how he's smiling. He know he got a bell pepper on his face. He knows he has a bell pepper on his face. Okay. 87 three point shot. We can boost that up. We can get a 93 point shot out of that. Ain't no, ain't, ain't no problem. Ain't no problem. What's his ball handle? Speed with ball 98. Speed with ball 98. Speed 98. Acceleration 97. Vertical 98. Strength 98. All right. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. What's the ball handle? A 90 ball handle, we're definitely putting a shoe on, bro. I mean, it is what it is. We might have to add some badges to Buddy. It's not like he really shoots like we wanted to shoot. I can't believe this, though. We thought we was going to get more out of that. Okay, let's make a business decision, though. Do we really, do we really want to end out like that? Do we want to end up that way? We got 190, 198. I can actually make some MT and uh, open another 10 box. It could happen. Let's open this base pack real quick for good measure. We said we wasn't opening no bases. But we, we did open them. We, we had to. We had to. I mean, we got this VC sitting here and we might as well. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know I mean, yeah, you know I mean. We're going to go for one more. Base them out. Come on. Base pack me out, Mecca. Is that how you say that? Mecca? Meech? I'm, I'm not sure. I don't think I care. I just want to see a Wimby. You know what I mean? Can I get that goat Wimby about you? I would love to get a goat Wimby for the road. You know what I'm saying? 2K, y'all know y'all dead wrong taking all my VC like this. One more base pack for the road. Nothing shaking. Okay, then. It is what it is. Kobe! Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer. 